Thomas Markle, 74, said he is being shunned and ghosted by his author Meghan Markle, 37. He said he has been texting her daily, but she will not return his messages. And he revealed he was hopeful that Queen might intervene and heal the rift. I'm not sure why it's happening, Thomas told ITV's Good Morning Britain. I am disappointed by it. I have been trying to reach out for several weeks, every day I try to text her, but haven't received anything back. Speaking at the Queen stepping in, he said, I would appreciate anything she can do and I would think that she would want to resolve the family problems. All families, royal or otherwise, are the same and should be together at the holidays. The retired Hollywood lighting director Desmond Piers Morgan's suggestion that his daughter was rude following media reports of a rift between her and Kate Middleton, but admitted she was controlling. He did say, however, that he thinks his daughter, who is expecting her first baby with Prince Harry in the spring, will make a great mum, there has to be a place for me, I'm her father and will be the grandfather of her children. How did the rift begin? There are mixed reports about what the relationship between Meghan and Thomas was like when she was growing up, some sources claim they fought. But since Meghan was thrust into the public gaze of the whole world, it has certainly been tumultuous. Others thought they were close. Here is the timeline as we know it. November 2017, reports emerged that Meghan's father had become a recluse in his Mexico home after the announcement of Meghan and Harry's engagement. December 2017, Thomas tracked down by paparazzi, snacked buying beer and cigarettes, and told reported he would love to walk Meghan down the aisle. May 2018, things began to turn rocky as it was revealed Thomas accepted money to stage paparazzi photographs. He said he accepted as he hoped to paint himself in the flattering light, being fitted for a tuxedo and exercising outdoors. But the pictures triggered a media furor ahead of the royal wedding. One week before he was due to walk Meghan down the aisle, he pulled out of the wedding, citing health issues. Meghan released an official statement, which said, I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. Harry's father. June 2018, the interviews began. Prince Charles walked Meghan down the aisle. Thomas told Good Morning Britain he was upset not to be able to walk his daughter down the aisle. But he put his foot in it when he hinted at Prince Harry's feelings about Brexit and Donald Trump, members of the royal family are not meant to make political stances public. July 2018, Thomas pleaded with Meghan to stop ignoring him, via an interview with The Sun. He said he was worried he might die soon, adding, perhaps it would be easier for Meghan if I died also July 2018. Thomas spoke to the Daily Mail for nearly nine hours over three days, during which he described his daughter as cold, and said what riles muse Meghan's sense of superiority. I made her the duchess she is today. She'd be nothing without me. Everything that Meghan is, I made her August 2018. Sources claim Meghan is deeply hurt by her father's actions. Also August 2018, in another interview with The Sun, Thomas called the royal family a cult, comparing the family to Scientologists and the Stepford family. He then went quiet for the rest of the year, until offering another exclusive interview to Good Morning Britain in December.